I'm Chef Jim White here at Antelope Point, and today we're going to talk about whole tenderloins. You can get these at the grocery store, save you a lot of money. And I'll, I'll show you how to flick these off here, and you'll see how many little fillets come off here. Because that's what it is. It's basically a bunch of filet mignons still together. The, the, the filet mignons don't come off the cow that way. Trust me. And you guys, we did these. We smoked these for New Year's Eve. You guys missed the best time. If you weren't here this year, get your tickets now for next year because it was an absolute blast. We had smoked tenderloins. It was wonderful. So you got to take this out of the bag. And a lot of people freak out because when they open it up, it has kind of a funky smell. And I always tell everybody, if they stuck you in a plastic bag for three weeks, you would stink too. Okay, so you got to just let that kind of gas off. And it will go away pretty quick. And this is just called purge that comes off of here. It actually helps to tenderize the meat to make sure that it's just perfect for you. So you take it out of the bag. And then you have to remove basically everything that's not red. You want to get it back down to where there's nothing but the tenderloins because you don't pay the kind of money for these although I can tell you two years ago you couldn't buy one of these for less than a hundred dollars they were so expensive and now you can get a whole one of these for like forty fifty dollars so they've come way down in price and it is absolutely the best cut of meat that there is so we're going to take it out of here and like I said what we're basically going to do is remove everything that's not red and a lot of this you can do with your fingers you can see this will all come off and then you peel it back it's real simple you take it, you put a little pressure up on it, you take a little niche in here, and then you run back this way with it, okay? With a little bit of upward pressure so you don't cut any of the meat because you want to save all that meat. That's the most important part. So once we clean all this silver part off, basically what happens is filet mignon start to pop off here. Now you could also roast it whole just like this. And there's a little piece on the side here, it's called the chain, and a lot of people just leave it on there but really when you're serving this kind of a quality piece of meat you don't really want to have any fat whatsoever so we're going to remove the chain and it just runs on the side it pops off up at the top here so now we've got the chain is gone that's pretty simple and easy to do we've removed all the white part and now watch this we're going to start at the tail and the first one that comes off Pull this white off. The first one we're going to do what's called a butterfly cut. So we cut it off of there and then we cut it a little bit and then we turn it up and it looks exactly like a filet mignon. But now watch, they just pop off. Boom, there's one, two, and you can cut them all the way down and you have your own filet mignons. The great part about doing this also is you can get your own portions the way you want them. You don't have to get a big eight ounce filet mignon like they're gonna give you at a restaurant. You can cut your smaller portions, put them in the freezer, and this is the best meat you'll ever have. I'm Chef Jim White with today's Antelope Point. Catch you in a minute.